Hi guys, just doing a short video today as we're going down the garage to look at the engine. We're going to do degrease the engine, strip it down, uh, get it for, ready for rebuild. We just want to make sure there's no water inside of it because it was under that, that uh, while in the water for a good couple of weeks. Uh, just make sure it's not seized and everything, give it a good clean out. I don't think we'll have time to rebuild it today. Um, so we'll just be stripping the engine down. Any comments really, really appreciate it because me and Stephen know nothing about engines. Well, I know nothing about engines. Stephen's a little bit more savvy than I am. Um, so any comments really, really appreciated. Uh, again, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I've got 41 subscribers at the minute, which I'm buzzing about. Um, so thank you for subscribing. Uh, I am going to do a competition. If I reach 100 subscribers, um, I'm going to do a competition where I select a certain amount of people to come out on the boat once it's uh, done and on the water, which hopefully should be this summer. So subscribe guys, get subscribing. So here we are at the garage. It's dead dark in here still. I need to get some sort of lights in here because I can't really see. Um, there's a big lump. So it's going to take all these pipes and everything off. Take the water pump off, fuel pipes, distributor, leads, spark plugs. I will take the, uh, I want to get the head off it. We'll take the uh, rocker cover and everything off, the head off it. I want to get a spanner on here today as well and see if it actually turns uh, to make sure it's not seized. Uh, Stephen's not here at the minute. He was here a minute ago. We've got to nip off for a poo. Uh, and our niece is not here today, she's uh, either out to work or out, so we've got to drive over to a, find an answer to a supermarket so we can have a food. So cheers Stephen, a bit of a late start today now. <laughs> Just going to show you around a few more bits and bobs. I say, we've got all the sinks here, kitchen sink, we've got everything, even the kitchen sink. Uh, under here we've got loads of little bits and bobs, carburetor, alternator, starter motor, windows, we've got some air horns here as well which I don't think we've got for Tally. Uh, got the gearbox over there which is leaking a bit of oil. I think it's just the way we've positioned it as well. Um, and then loads of bit of wood in here as well. It's all dried out now all the wood has so hopefully we can dust all that clear down. I think a lot of the wood bits we've probably got already to be honest with you. Start stripping a little bit off and try and get the water pump off, uh, fuel pump, and stuff like that off it. I hope you can see because the lighting's terrible in there. Um, here goes. <laughs> A few things are snapping on the uh, engine. It's like copper tubing that they use uh, coming out of the engine onto the uh, your flexios. So um, I'll show you. So, just bit here, just see if you can see that. That like copper pipe. So hopefully we can get the same sort of copper pipe and uh, yeah, feed it back into the engine and do it that way. Otherwise, it'd be welding. That's not good.
grab the snip tone to fetch some water and some milk uh, and I've come back to this. <laughs> he's took the rocket cover off, he's took everything off it. Bonus. And I've come back and our niece has come back and made me a cup of tea. But I've gone and fetched me a kettle, I've got me a camping stove. I'm gonna go fishing. So let's get the rest of this engine stripped. I've got a light now as well, so hopefully might be able to get a little bit of light in here. Trying to get this head off for a minute. So I'm letting Stephen, we ain't got a long bar and anything. Head's off already, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got a long bar to crank it open. So we're trying to get with a, a spanner and a ratchet. So we'll see if it works. Budget, scarper. You have to obviously send far away. It's just not going to smack me in the face. Uh, <laughs> that's right, because I need half an end. I'll show you. I think we broke the ratchet. Snapped off there. That's right, do that plastic crap off there. <coughs> right, we'll try again. We'll try again. One sec. It's because it's not metal at the end. There you went. Well, I've got a big bar, I tell you, my wife's been up big bar, then. We've just realised that uh, lefty loosey righty tighty. I've been trying to tighten these heads up, uh, bolts up on the head. So now we're <laughs> trying to untie them, they're actually coming out, well, one's come out anyway. We've got to take off the, the camshaft, didn't we? The camshaft. No, the rocker cover. Oh, the rocker bar. Rocker bar. Oh. <laughs> so we're taking off the rocker thing underneath the rocker cover to get the head off. So, and then take the... Uh... Head bolts out. Head bolts out. Take the valve stems out. Something like that. <laughs> like I say, any comments, please leave them because we've not got a clue what we're doing. But we will get this engine back up and running and, and in the boat. So that's it stripped down, definitely not seized. Let's see it's all turning. See the pistons going up and down, crankshaft turning round. Just wants to go clean out then. Got the sump off, head off, all the other bits. 
So clean it all up, get some new gaskets on there and put it all back together. That'll probably be the next video though, so we'll see. It's been a nice cup of tea in the camping stove that lot. and kettle. Let's take in what are these? Core plugs. Take in the core plugs. For the water course, there. so basically. So we can. Uh, so the water course is inside the engine. I'll we'll take this other one out. But. Flower. We need to get this flower wheel off as well. <sighs> yeah, look. Rust and... Yeah, look, it's absolute solid with dumb crap. Don't know what to see, I don't think. Mm, it's too dark, isn't it? Put that on. Ooh, look at that. That's sludge. More brown that stuff. This out. one's seen? Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. Not too bad, to be honest. Starting to tidy up now, so we've got the strip right down to the block. Uh, we've even took these caps out now, so the water veins to clean them out. But we need to degrease it, get some degrease on it, give it a good brush down, and then get a jet wash on it. And then we need to hire out a compressor to blow it out with hit the gear, get all the water out. Um, so yeah, that's that. Loads and loads of bits that we've shrugged off here. But we kind of know where it all goes. Now it goes back together. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. If you've liked it, subscribe if you can, please. Uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed already. Uh, leave us a comment as well if you can. Uh, any comments on this engine rebuild uh, would be much appreciated. So, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys.